Hi, this is Michael from Nonstop Coding Tutorial and in this video, I'll show you how to use Glitch, Glitch for Android that you can download from Play Store. But before we do, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on my latest videos. So as you can see, I have my Google Play Store up and running and in here, search in Glitch. Here it is. Glitch, Glitch for Android. And before we install this up, let's take a look at the pictures in here. So these are the things that you can do with this app. Slowly drag the screen and it will look like that. There. Touch to shift colors. So your pictures, photos will become like this. You can customize it. There. And uh, so on. Let's go back and install it. And while waiting for it to complete, I just want to let you know that you can become a digital artist, create real and completely random glitch to add that nerd touch to your pictures. You can upload your photos and edit with 26 unique effects including pixel sort, the data mosh, JPEG web glitch, and export your artwork in JPEG or record in P4 or GIF animations. You can quickly create your digital artwork with the best glitch photo editing app and uh, so on. All right, it's done. Let's go ahead and open it. And here it is. So this is the interface and to and to see the glitch effect, you just have to tap this menu here, the three lines at the top left portion and you will see this. So these are the effects that you can apply to your photos. And uh, let's go ahead and apply this one here, the glitch, the first one. So there. That's the glitch effect. All right, do you want to reset? Yes, so if you tap this one, this will reset the um, photos. So if you tap this camera icon, you will have this option, so camera. You can take photos right away or you can use the images found in your gallery. So let's use our gallery. And in this example, we'll use Jackie Chan's photo. And then let's apply the glitch and then tap and hold it. So there, that's the glitch effect. And once you're done with that, then you can hit the save button or save icon. So there, image saved. So the three dots here is where you can share it to your friends via social media and then resolution. If you want to change the resolution, and then privacy policy and credits. So let's go ahead and try the resolution. So low, mid, and high. So let's go ahead and change it. All right, let's use the maximum or the highest resolution, okay? And let's go ahead and reset it. Do you want to reset the image? Yes, okay. And then, and then go to menu again. So let's select a different effect. So let's try this one here, the play video okay this one let's try that and apply it okay let's try another one that's not uh, activating animation let's try this so glitch and then move your hand then next so these are the frames created so next and there you have it so we now have a so we now have an MP4 or a video of our photos. So from photos we apply glitch effect and we can now save it um, and we can now save it via MP4 or GIF. So or you can use both MP4 and GIF. You can also try to reverse it if you want to by doing this. And the speed you can adjust the speed. You can make it slowly like that so the effects has been applied slowly you can in you can increase it there so I prefer the slow mo there and then once you're good with that then just hit the save button here at the top right portion there so all the frames has been selected next and there you can select other effects in here you just have to go you, should, you just have to go to the menu and then look for the effects that you want to apply to your photos so 
let's uh, try this one here the pixel and then select a photo from our gallery and let's try this one okay so you need to attach it to apply the the effects so there and once you're done with that then hit the save button there you have it image saved then you can reset it back by tapping the reset icon and there so go to menu again and uh, try all right let's try uh, this one here the cake hacker and uh, let's choose an image so uh, let's try this one and then apply the effects by rubbing it so there you can apply it to the, your photos you have to touch your screen and then rub it to apply the effects and then once you're good with that you can just uh, save uh, just hit the save icon here at the top and there processing so now image save so it's really easy to use and this is actually good if you want to try to play with your photos you want to apply some uh, effects then try you want to try this one so that's uh, e very easy to use there's no you just have to uh, all you need to do is uh, go to menu and then select the effects that you want to apply to your photo once done you need to go to your camera and then select in an image from your gallery or from your camera if you want to, to take a photo and then rub the photo to apply the effects you need to touch this, your screen and then rub it multiple times to apply it so okay that's uh, good there's uh, a lot but some of the effects in here are not functioning properly so so before we wrap up let's uh, go ahead and try it one more time you need so how to use it you just you can simply swipe your screen several times but first you have to go to the menu select the filters or the effects and uh, let's say this one here wave and select a photo then photo from your camera you want to take a selfie or a photos from your gallery then choose one photo and then uh, swipe swipe your screen several times or rub it like this to apply the effects or to generate an error in your photos or features so there the effects has been applied once done hit the save icon at the top and there you have it so that's how easy it is to use this application and and I and you can play with your photos using this application so that's it thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time